Hi, I'm CJ and this is my RC channel. In this video, I'm doing an upgrade to the E-Flight UMX Radian, and uh, that is their line of micro airplanes. Um, I like it as it is, but I wanted uh, a little more flight time, uh, especially off motor, off power, and uh, the only way to do that seemed to be to increase the amount of wingspan. So I bought two extra wings. They are uh, available for $22.99. And uh, so your stock wing is basically this big, like that. And uh, so what I did is I, I said I bought two, and the stock wing has a carbon spar that only goes partway along the wing. So one of them, I cut the wing at the end of the carbon spar on left and right. The other one I cut about like this, um, 14 uh, centimeters from the end of either one. So this will be the new wingspan. And that's gonna be a substantial improvement. Now I did almost exactly this previously and uh, um, I'll put a link to the video, and you'll see that the plane flies well, but it's lagging. It doesn't climb out as well, uh, and that's to be expected with the extra uh, the extra wing, but it wasn't just the extra airfoil space or span. It was the weight, because I did a couple things badly. I didn't glue it well, um, because... Uh, I was using what is supposed to be a foam glue, specifically this right here, Beacon Foam Tack, and it attacked this foam. And uh, so that was a problem. I also, to try to stiffen the wing a little bit and uh, add some color, I partially covered the wing, uh, the top surface, and... Um, uh, a couple of black stripes on the bottom to add some definition um, when it's at altitude. That uh, added too much weight between those two things because um, the areas that were attacked by the glue, I had to fill a little bit. And uh, so instead of using covering this time, I'm going to use some paint. And um, I took one of the, uh, the wing tips I'd cut off and tested and this is a polycarbonate safe paint for RC car bodies specifically. It is Duratrax. Um, I'm pretty sure the Tamiya paint for their, their PS paint polycarb safe line will probably work just as well. Um, as you can see, it didn't attack the foam at all. And, uh, a light just spritz is going to add some nice color without going too far. I'll probably tape some areas. Um, I'll figure out how I'm going to do that during this process. Um, now, I need to join these two wings. I'm probably going to use epoxy to seam them together because that'll give me a little bit of gap filling and I know it won't attack the foam. The next thing is this spar, and I've got a couple of options. Number one, I can replace the entire length of the spar with another piece of carbon fiber rod, which I happen to have. I've got a bunch of carbon stock. Um, another thing that I can do is take this uh, like strap carbon fiber material and cut a couple of small pieces they don't have to be very large because they're going to gain strength from the wing itself and from the carbon spar. Um, cut a slot and then um, insert this in there and glue that in place, probably with some type of CA. I'm going to have to see what I have that will not attack the foam. Um, and uh, that will join not only the two wings, but it will uh, attach the this strap to the spar and uh so those are the two options um 
going to contemplate it a little bit and then uh, probably just roll a dice. And um, I'm leaning toward just replacing the whole spar. Uh, I'm going to see how well this is glued in. Um, as you can see, I can, it from stock, it's not very well glued in. Um, I'll have to try prying it out, maybe going along the edge uh, with a, um, with an X-Acto knife. Um, we'll see. And as you can see, uh, the remnants of the tape that is stock, um, you're going to want to peel that up before you do any cutting. If you decide to uh, try this modification yourself. Um, but uh, I'm hoping that by reducing the weight that I added, um, that this is going to be better. The next option would be to try it again with, let's say, a little less wingspan. Right now I'm going for the maximum wingspan I can get without um, doing anything hokey or buying a third wing. Um, but this amount of wingspan should really give it some hang time, I'm hoping. Um, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay. I've joined the three wing sections. Um, as you can see, I started to uh, make a cut here to see when I was deciding whether or not I was going to go with the strapping. And uh, it doesn't weigh much more, but it, it is a little more weight. And I didn't think that the strength was going to be what I needed where I needed. Um, so I decided just to replace the three individual sections with one piece of the uh, same diameter. So what I'm gonna do is I've got this propped up here on a box so as to not flex the wingtips while I'm doing this process. I'm gonna put a very, I used five minute epoxy uh, to join these, set it down on a sheet of plastic, put a very small amount on both sides to fill any gaps in the foam and then seamed them together, wiped away the excess and then just held them by, by hand to make sure that uh, they stayed aligned properly while they set up. Now to do this, I'm gonna need a little more working time. So I'm gonna use a uh, 15 minute epoxy. And what I'm gonna do is make a very thin bead in the trough here I'm going to lay in the carbon fiber piece and then I'm going to use good old gloss finish scotch tape and I'm going to lay that down over top of this. I'll probably do it in two sections, uh, lay one piece here uh, to anchor the midsection securely making sure it's centered and then lay a piece to either side. Um, and uh, that's going to do two things. It's going to smooth the airfoil, um, you know, any uh, deviation from a flat surface, you know, you want to get rid of if you can. Um, so that will do that. It'll also make sure that this doesn't pull up and I don't have to worry about trying to hold this thing in place with my hands for, you know, 20 minutes while this cures. Um, so... That's how I'm going to do that, and uh, and then it'll be time to do a little taping and painting, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I did the taping, and it came out beautiful. I got one little teeny wrinkle. Otherwise, everything came out nice and smooth. If you look down the edge, see if I can get this for the camera. Uh, you can see that there's no protrusions. Everything's nice and smooth. And I used as little glue as I could, a little extra at the joints, but uh, nothing dramatic. So let's see what things weigh out. This is the original modified wing. And we've got 1.23 ounces. And before paint, let's 
6.66. Wow, that's demonic. Uh, so I'll add a little paint, but as you can see, we are now at half the weight. So the original job that I did, and we are talking the same length. The, the one I just did is a teeny bit shorter, about an inch shorter, but I'm fine with that. I must have just cut right down the uh, down the center line of the original wing instead of going off center a little bit in the cut. Anyway, um, the covering uh, and the uh, different uh, carbon fiber, because I I used a, uh, a piece of the uh, strapping type carbon fiber to really stiffen this up, and it is very stiff, um, but uh, I think this is going to be just fine. For what we're talking about and for this airplane it weighs next to nothing um so taking off uh 0.6 ounces is uh a lot let's see um so grams this weighs 290 grams Let me center this out. Okay. In grams. 538.6 grams. Two hundred and ninety one grams. So uh, just under three hundred and uh almost Heading towards 600, five, was it 538 or 568? Yeah, 538. So, substantial difference. So, I'm going to get uh, working on a design, if or just do the whole top in orange. I haven't decided yet. Um, but I don't want to put on too much. It's just going to be a dusting. Oh, and uh, just FYI, um, this is such a, a small fuselage and such a small plane in general. Um, your wing mounting screws go through the bottom and into this little plastic piece. And uh, just me, I leave the plane assembled all the time. I put the wing in and I never take it out. Uh, this thing is so small, you can just toss it in the back seat of a car. Um, you know, you could even throw it in the passenger side if you have a two-seater car. It, it just doesn't take up any space. And uh, it's, um, it's easier just to do that and not worry about stripping out the threads at some point, having the wing not be solid. One of the nice things about this is that you can just fly it at a whim. You know, there's no setup. Um, since it's all together, all I need is a charged battery there. You know, these little finger stick batteries that, uh, uh, yeah, like that. And, uh, they just, um, you know, you can charge a couple of them in a, just over a few minutes and go flying anytime you want. Well, the paint didn't come out perfect. Um, a couple of spots weren't quite... I wanted to peel the tape up before things totally dried. And um, it came out pretty good. I got a, two little spots here. And um, I got a little bit of attacking right here. I don't know why it's uh, supposed to be safe, but uh, it, it just bubbled it a little bit. I don't think it's going to affect the airfoil surface enough. If it if I think it's an issue, I can just lay a piece of um, transparent tape over that to, uh, to level the surface. But um, I think it'll be okay. I'm not going to try and touch up those two little spots. Um, and uh, so anyway... Uh, finished, the wing comes out to 320 grams. 
And just for a refresh, the wing that I covered comes out to 540. So I saved about, about 220 grams. That should make a huge difference in the way the plane climbs out and uh, I'm really looking forward to giving this uh, a test tomorrow, which I will, of course, share with you.